What is up guys, it's your boy Brandon Gross coming at you. Self-taught design. What we're going over today is how to create a very small, simple website in Webflow. I found Webflow to be extremely easy to use. I'm able to knock out the developers using this process. Not fully when it comes to big projects. We gotta work side by side. But when I'm getting small to medium projects that I can take on solely by myself with Webflow. So I just wanna roll through a simple tutorial of how to create a very small, simple website for yourself if you do not have one already. So with that, let's get into it. Based on this very simple and five second wireframe. So we're gonna have a hero image here. We're gonna have an about section. We're gonna have an our work section or my services section. We're gonna have a display of our work here and then a way for our customers to contact us. So let's get into it. Basically, I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to make a website in 30 minutes. All right, let's go. So I'm going to basically show you, this is a very simple website, how I made this within 30 minutes. So let's get started. And you know, just for a refresher, if any of you guys don't know what Webflow is, it basically is a well-coded website that is made for designers, but you don't have to know code. It's basically you just design good, and you know HTML and CSS, and you drag and drop, and you're good. New project, blank, web flow tutorial. So we have a blank page here, and just really quick, we have our styles page right here, our styles tab. We have, don't worry about this, you don't need to know about this too much. We have a navigator page where you can see the basically the architecture of the page. Right now, there's just a body element pretty simple but all we need to know for this right now is the styles and the navigation and our elements tab so what we're gonna get started is I'm going to drag a div element on and I'm gonna get a background image into this div so I'm gonna go to the styles panel scroll down all the way to the background section add a background image choose image upload go to my pictures and I'm going to upload this background image. I got this from startup, what is it, startupstockphotos.com. Go there if you ever need pretty good photography. Anyway, we're going to set this photo to contain, or actually to cover. By the way, if you're very familiar with HTML and CSS, Webflow will be so easy for you to learn. Um, what Webflow is really good at is you don't have to type all the code, so you just have to understand it understand what the options are doing to so I need to now go back into my div block which I'm going to call hero this is our hero image and I'm gonna go back and make the height 500 nice and on, on top of that going back to the background image section I'm going to put a black opacity over it our gray is good enough. I'm gonna put text on here, so. I need, I'm gonna drag heading, I'm gonna drag it right in here. Change it to white. Now what I need to do is, you see the white space that was created up top? I need to get rid of that, and that's coming from my headings. My heading pad, or margin. So I'm gonna take this out. The image collapses up to the top, and now I am going to change, I need to center this, So, but let me get all my elements in there. So I have my heading, I have my paragraph, I'm going to change this to white also, going back to my styles panel, changing the color and the typography to white, and I do not want this much text, so I'm going to take this out. So now I need to center all this. So I'm gonna go back to the styles panel. Well, actually, I'm gonna put wrap these in a div. So first, going to my elements, pressing A. Going to, where my div? There we go. Put another div inside the hero. Get my heading in paragraph and put it inside the div block. One, two. And now I need to align these both to the center. There we go give a title to my page 
baddest designer in a baddest designer in North America. And now just a little thing about us. We are awesome. And I'd love to show you how. Basically just some small text describing like, you know, who you are. Don't worry about typography at the end, but we just want to get everything laid out first. So we're also missing a nav bar. This is really easy. Literally all you have to do is press A, go down to nav bar, and drop this right into, not your hero, but right above it. Just like that. Now what I need to do is I'm going to make a couple of links here. We're going to have about four sections. So I don't need to have a home. I need to have services. And I'm going to put this right after the about. We're going to have work section. So I'm going to copy and paste. Um, let me see. Services, work. There we go. And we also want to put a logo in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside this brand. I'm going to go down to the background. Put an image. Choose. Upload. I'm going to go find my logo. Here. And let's see. Continue. No repeat. There we go. Simple. So there's our logo. Now I do want to have let's 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 click on the navigation. I want to change the color of this of the background. So I'm going to click this background and I'm going to set it to a nice dark color. Well that means we have to change the logo color and we're also going to change all these link colors first of all I want to change this to nav link I want to give it a CSS title and I'm going to copy it to all these other link items so I only have to do one and they will all change so I'm gonna to go to the color of this change it to white and now they are all white we're learning something today so now I'm going to go back over to my logo, here, style tab, and I need to change out the background. So I am going to replace image, go back to upload, and get my white logo, since we now have a black background. Pow.